So, this time we will be doing a review of Chrome OS, or as close as we can get it, which is, in this case, something called Cloud Ready, um, which is more like Chromium OS, but it's something I can run in VMware. Um, so we're going to do that. So, first I'm just going to open VMware, a VMware player. Sometimes a little bit slow on this system. Here we go. So, I want to import a machine. The menus are going to work. Okay, I'm going to ignore that one for now. Okay, open a virtual machine. And then I need to go to here and here. Here we go. And import the pre built version, which you can just go there, that's fine. So we are going to do like a general review and we're also going to try and install Linux apps on this because there is a way of doing it apparently. I also wanted to do Android apps but it turns out there's not really a way of getting the Google Play Store on this so um, I'm not going to do that. But I will have a look and see if there are any Chrome OS apps you can install. I might just look that up quickly now. Because I have no idea how to do that. Sorry about the siren. Yeah, I don't really think apps are a thing for cloud ready, at least in the short time I've had a look just now. So we'll wait for this to finish importing, which is not going to take very long. Okay, so my VMware install is a bit broken, so it doesn't come up here. Um, so instead what I will do is start it from the terminal. I'll just full screen this. I don't know whether there are any settings we want to be changing. No, this looks okay to me. Okay, so we'll just let it boot up. Here we go. In a minute it will prompt us to do some initial, here we go, initial setup kind of stuff. So we'll set it to English UK, because that's where I am. We want a UK keyboard. Let's go. Ethernet. Yeah, can I turn that off? Okay. Right, I'm just going to pause the screen capture here so I can sign in. Okay, we've just signed in. And I'll just use that profile picture, that's fine. Time is completely wrong at the moment, it thinks it's 8.37 in the morning. Okay, I'm not going to do a tour. And we're not going to do that either. So, I've heard there are updates, so the first thing I'm going to do, virtual box. Okay, we'll have a look at that in a minute. That might be interesting. But first, oh, they do have a web store. Okay, so first what I am going to do, what am I going to do? We've done the installation, kind of, there's not really much of an installation, but this is your main app draw. You can search the web here and all of that kind of stuff as well. So yeah, let's look at software, seeing if there is a web store. I didn't know that there was. So, I can install Evernote Web Clipper. 
If this online Earth view from Google Earth. Why don't we do that? That's like a little every time you open a new tab. Something we go apps rather than extensions. So we can install. I don't know what any of this stuff is, is the problem. Install something like Google Photos, I guess. Pocket, I know what that is. Add app. I don't really know how this works, but okay, this is kind of like Android. Installed. Well, that was quick. How do I use it? Okay. Well, I'm not going to sign in now, but just so we understand how things work. If I also want to install Dropbox. Okay, so I'm guessing if I now close this, it comes up in the app drawer. So if I wanted to sign up to a Dropbox, yeah, okay, here we go. Okay, so that makes sense, that's quite nice and clean. Um, other things, I don't know how you get to settings on this, I think you might have to do it through Google Chrome. Yeah, here we go. So you have like network settings and stuff. Bluetooth settings, all that kind of stuff. People, wallpaper, browser themes, so you can change stuff like that. Enable the bookmarks bar, change your font size, change all the mouse speed kind of stuff, it's just like fairly standard things. And then you have a bunch of advanced settings like don't know why date and time is here. All this kind of privacy stuff, which of course I've hidden away because this is Google. Well, not quite, but you know. Power wash, whatever that is. Wallpaper. Okay, so there isn't any by default. Okay. I don't have anything to add, so I guess I'm not doing that. Uh, okay, it's like fairly standard kind of stuff. I'm quite tempted to try VirtualBox. See what happens. Don't know what this is going to do, but it can't hurt to have a look. I tried running this um, in running Cloud Ready in VirtualBox, but it doesn't really do anything. It just can't boot up all the way because the graphics driver isn't supported, it says. That's why we're using VMware. I have no idea whether what we're about to do here is going to work or not, but if it does, then that's quite useful. It's interesting that it's just there as well. Sort of acknowledging the need that you might need to use VirtualBox and virtual machines to accomplish more things than you can do in Chrome OS. So apparently you can virtualize inside VMware, but I have no idea whether you can run VirtualBox inside VMware. So this is just like VirtualBox on Linux, as far as I can tell. Looks exactly the same. So that's interesting. So I'll just grab something, I'll grab like a version of Ubuntu to download and um, try this. I'll just pause the recording while I download it. Okay, so we're back and we've just downloaded Tiny Core. I was going to try Ubuntu but I thought this would be quicker. So we'll do this instead. We'll just pick other Linux. That's fine. We don't need a hard drive. Yeah. Okay, so settings. Okay, so we won't be able to run with um, virtualization stuff, but that's okay. So we need to select the disk. Which 
means I need to find where downloads are. Here, here we go. I wonder if we can see anything of the file system if I go back here. Okay, so it just looks sort of like standard Linux. Ish. More or less. Um, this one looks fine. Let's see if it works or not. It might just crash. No, it is working. Okay. Boot tiny core. Yes, this is just like standard VirtualBox and Linux, as far as I can tell. Looks exactly the same. Except that it's not booting. So, yeah. I'll just reset it. Anyway, the point stands is, which is that it's impressive that it works. Command line only on slow devices. Let's see if that helps. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, never mind. It's probably just because we're running this inside VMware. Also, I've never run Tiny Calls, so I might have done something wrong. Okay, so there's that. We've looked at the web store. So what we might do now is apparently you can run Linux apps on this, apart from VirtualBox, but you can just, um, like in Chrome OS, you can install, what's it called? Uh, a container called Crostini. So first, I think we'll need to bring the system up to date. So we'll just do that quickly. If I can remember how to do it, check for updates. Doesn't seem to work. I can't remember where this is. Aha, here we go. So it should be a build sixty seven. So I'm just going to fast forward this for you. Okay, so we have just restarted um, Chrome, so we can enable Crostini using this link. Um, now we should see a terminal app, apparently. Ah, I'm not seeing it on this. If we don't see it, do a full power cycle. Okay. I actually know how to shut this down is the problem. Now, uh, so control delete doesn't seem to do anything. Let's try this. Nah, uh, pressing a power button on my system doesn't do anything. Thought it was worth a try. Power, I could reset it. Not ideal. Okay, that'll probably work anyway. Hopefully. If it doesn't, then it wasn't going to work anyway by the looks of it in a virtual machine. So I have to come back and try this again at some other point if it's not going to work. 
Okay, I'll just pause the screen recording again for a second while I put my password in. And we are back. Okay, so let's see if it has changed. It has not. Okay, so I guess this will work. Uh, let's have a quick look. Uh, yeah, it might just not work on this. Which is a shame, but the way it's supposed to work is once you click on your terminal app here, you'll get prompted to install it, so you do that. Um, and then you can launch it, and it will open a command line inside your Linux environment according to the page. And then you, this is a Debian um, based thing, so you can use commands like apt get or apt install. Um, GIMP and that kind of thing and it will install it for you and then you can run it. I don't know whether it comes up in this drawer or not or whether you can just launch it from the terminal but either way that's fine and you can use both command line and graphical applications. Um, so I think that pretty much comes to the end of this review seeing as we couldn't get that to work. I might revisit this later and on actual hardware and try and get that to work. That might be good. Um, other than that, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and see you next time.